Hey folks, so time for an unboxing video. This will be a new uh, Z690. Let's go ahead and get it open. And ASRock Z690M-ITX-ATX. Now we had a... Uh, God, I don't know how long ago it's been. The ASRock B660M-ITX-AX. She always made me wonder, like, okay, M, micro ATX, and then ITX, which is a smaller motherboard. I really don't understand that. Can somebody explain that to me? Uh, of course, this is a compatible 12th gen. Out of the box, with a BIOS update, it should be 13th gen. We'll do uh, various BIOS updates for you all. I mean, China... In case anybody cares, that might be a reason that some of you might not want to buy this. Uh, so looking at that, we will uh, take a close look at that. This does have a BIOS flashback button. Uh, hopefully I won't forget that. Wi-Fi 6 Echo. Um, usually you see this on the 700 series motherboards. What was it? The uh, Awesome Eris Ultra just has Wi-Fi 6. LAN 2.5 gig. PCIe 5.0 on this little dinky thing? What? Of course, you know, what graphics card out there can handle that. You've got uh, Type-C. There's the speeds on that. All right. Heat power stages plus Dr. Moss. So, uh, wouldn't expect this to really be a good motherboard for anything more than say an i5 12600k or any of the locked cpus but uh, we'll throw something at it that's halfway decent i'll do two videos i think we'll first since i've gotten rid of most of my 12th gen we'll probably put an i3 12100 in here update the bios and then uh, go from there put something better in it I'll probably do some benchmark videos with it. We'll do a macro view of the motherboard so you guys can see it. ASRock lately, folks, is one of the few companies that's actually sending a decent manual. Um, they may have actually stopped with their new 700 series, but all this stuff will be available online. So you have in here a driver disc and there's a little ASRock sticker in there if you're actually willing to put that on your computer. Um, one thing I can't stand folks, IO shields that are not part of the motherboard, but SATA cables, two of those, two Wi-Fi antennas, M.2 screw, and another M.2 screw. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Now there's a good chance that I will upgrade War Mother's uh, computer with this. Time to give her a little little boost. I have a game she plays. So I can probably play it on a, a fourth gen Celeron, but. All right, let's drop down. Drop down a little bit more. So we will also do uh, CPU installation videos with this. All right. CMOS battery. You see they've mounted it on the side of the antenna. Uh, this, you know... A lot of times when you have to reset your BIOS, because let's say you put RAM in here that just ain't cutting it, ain't working, um, you know, you take the battery out. Well, this guy, you have to pull it out of here. Uh, I've broke these before, so not, uh, I really don't like this design, but uh, just, you know, if you have to pull it to reset it, be careful. This should be uh, HD audio over here folks there's your PCIe 5.0 PCIe 
PCIe 5.0 by 6. Let's get this thing open. I could look at the box and tell you how many M.2s are in here, but uh, you know, this has a nice little uh, heat sink cover for the M.2s. And I think I'll actually just throw that in the box. Oops. All right, so it does come with two M.2s. That's uh, that's impressive for an ITX motherboard. I've previously, uh, well, the last one I bought had one on front, then had a stack of them, right? That was that uh, Z690i Gigabyte, or excuse me, it was Eris. I've also seen one on the front and one on the bottom, which this does not have. So we have two of those. We have an ARGB connector here, folks. Two RAM slots. Now, one thing I, um, I'm pretty sure it's DDR4 RAM for this, but the one thing that I don't remember offhand, if it, if it is DDR4, it should be. Yeah, so DDR4 up to 5,000. Well, we don't have to worry about that because we don't have any RAM that fast for DDR4. Now, this is where these motherboards get a little confusing, folks. Looking at it and going, what is, uh, where's this, where's that? We obviously see four SATAs here. We see the Type-C Charlie header. We see a um, USB 3.2. Of course, that'll uh, both of these will go to your case if they have that on there, right? Could have a really old case that's only got USB 2.0, but uh, you know, most likely you've got the blue USB 3.0s, 3.2s, 24-pin ATX power connector, and then this is probably just uh, RGB here. Now, one of these. Unless this is upside down. Um, yeah. This should be the front panel connectors here. And this is probably USB 2.0. I could have that mixed up. Let's see if we can, how close we can get. Yeah. Front panel connectors. You can see on there. This always screws me up on ITX because it's, it's rotated. Let's see, it would be like this, rotated 90 degrees. So those would be your front panels. You got your power LED, power switch, reset switch, HDD LED, and then this should be a USB 2.0. Uh, not a whole lot back here. So you don't see, you know, much for obviously any heat sinks here. This one, you know, that's about all you get there. This should be the CPU fan header, and then another case fan header here, another case fan header here. Looks like another AR, ARGB, RGB. Let's go ahead and pop this open. So you notice these things say LGA 1700 and 1800 on the covers, but uh, this is only going to work for 12th and 13th gen. There's the pins in the socket. I always, you know, definitely like to double check that. This is going to sit on the shelf for a little bit. Make sure that they didn't send us a used one that somebody destroyed. 1x8 CPU power. So there's a potential, you know, for power limits. Um, unlike some other boards where we can really open them up maybe get a little bit more out of them this guy is you know potentially going to have uh not the same abilities to really crank so that's one of the negatives about these but you know most of you folks that are getting these you're putting it in a case maybe you bought this one because it might have been uh, one of the better itx 
motherboards out there for you know for the price range and maybe you're sticking a locked CPU in there um, like I said we'll try a couple different CPUs in here display port HDMI then we have uh, another USB 2.0 USB 3.2 probably Gen 1's USB 2.0 there's your Ethernet 2.5 gig or excuse me there's your Ethernet 2.5 gig. I, I didn't realize this had dual on it. Um, Type C Charlie, USB 3.2 Gen 2, line out, headphone out, mic in, and then your Wi Fi 6. So that's about what we're going to do for this. The one thing that we didn't call out, there it is right there. There's a little button for the BIOS flashback. So we'll be able to flash this BIOS. Uh, just hooking up a power supply and the um, Ethernet, not Ethernet, the uh, USB formatted to FAT32. So with those two things, folks, uh, you will be good to go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.